You're watching Fios One News in the Lower Hudson Valley. Only on channels 501 and 1. Only on Verizon Fios TV. Okay, so here's the deal. While it's my face that you see on camera each week, there's a team behind the cameras that does so much of the heavy lifting on this show. And yeah, they eat too. And they also have some serious opinions. So I figured, why not turn the cameras around on them? Our videographers, Christian McLaren. Feeling pretty good. Haven't committed any crimes. Carl Fernandez. Can, can I see the frame? And Orlando Hurtado. I don't get a glam squad. I got this myself to see which restaurants they enjoyed the most from this past season. We start with one of Christian's favorites, the Blazer Pub in North Salem. The decades-old institution is the Northern Westchester go-to for scratch-made pub grub. Uh, Blazer Burger. Blazer Pub is just a classic. The service treats you like they've seen you before. When it comes to the food, it's one of those places that you can order the simplest thing on the menu and it's just gonna be like a home-cooked meal. Cooked with our special secret recipe of nothing fancy. We make everything from scratch. We do not have a microwave. We do not have a freezer. So I think people know they're gonna get fresh food. It is good food that is consistent. Carl's got two tickets to Paradise. Paradise Restaurant in Verplank, that is. A 70-year-old red sauce Italian favorite. Paradise. Well, you walk in, and it looks like Nona is operating a banquet hall in her basement. It's just a very homey feeling spot to grab a bite to eat. Old family recipes passed down, and uh, they haven't changed a thing. If it's not broke, don't fix it. And people come here and they tell you the sauce just you can't compare it. It actually could be considered addictive. Orlando thinks you should go to Winston in Mount Kisco even has an itinerary for you to follow. Winston, so this is what you do. You bring Bay, order the Moroccan brick chicken, go upstairs, eat it al fresco, and be happy. My inspiration for this dish is from the Park Avenue Cafe. My time there working under Chef Neil Murphy. My inspiration in terms of the Moroccan spice comes from my time living in Elmer's, Queens. One restaurant me in Orlando especially loved is Mr. Curry's Kitchen in Irvington. Ben Pope, the executive chef there and owner, is a wonderful, talented dude. Wouldn't you agree? I typically love Chinese, but like Cantonese, that was just like a flavor bomb of soy. Yeah, and it's not. It's not. It's not your typical Chinese. It's kind of cliche, but the whole "made with love." I think the story behind it really oh, kind of oh, just boy. adds to that territory now. <laughs> Dragging me there. Well, come on, can you just... No, I don't, I don't disagree with you. I don't disagree okay. with you. The restaurant was named after my grandfather, uh, Ku Hong Ming. Um, he is the original Mr. Ku. Ku is my mother's maiden name. Uh, he was a stern military man who was in the Gu Ming Dong, which was the opposing forces to the Communist Party. Uh, my grandfather courted my grandmother by playing his violin uh, outside her window, uh, all the while she had a soldier that was uh, a hothead also trying to buy for her affection. And in order to show off to her, he ended up shooting himself in the foot. He took a liking to my grandfather, and the rest is history. One other place I feel like you have to try is Canis in Harrison. It's a Peruvian place, great outdoor seating. Um, they got the tiki torches going, little bar out there. It has food from all over Peru, whether you're talking the desert, the coast, the mountains. And the Andes is where my favorite dish comes from. It's the quinoa encrusted salmon. We start this dish by making the salmon fillet. So after we take the skin off, we're gonna cut it. So now we season it with garlic, salt, pepper, oregano, and it, give, it gives the fish a really nice uh, flavor. So now we're gonna put some flour. And next is uh, we use some scrambled eggs with some oregano and parsley. A little bit of salt and pepper. And now we put uh, some quinoa under. Once it's fully coated, we wanna bring it out to the uh, fry pan. So we base the salmon and the quinoa, like the crunchiness, and we flip it on the side so it's both sides cook evenly. We're gonna saute the baseballs and then we're gonna put it in the, uh, on the oven with the salmon. Once the salmon is 
uh, is bake in the oven for 350 degrees. Uh, we're gonna start it with the lemon sauce. We blanch these vegetables by making sake. So we strain it out to have a creamy consistency on the uh, lemon sauce. So we're gonna add some clarified butter, uh, lemon juice, and then we're gonna let it evaporate a little bit more, and then we're gonna add the uh, base. And then we're gonna add a little bit of flour and just to thicken it in. Now we're gonna add the lemon sauce. It's kind of like a squeezing the lemon with a lot of more flavor, so just, there we go. And then we finish it up with the flour for decoration, and now it's ready to eat. The crunch on the outside of this, so delicious. Quinoa, which you typically see as a side, you know, something like rice or couscous. They've used it in a way that I've never seen before, and I love how it's such a traditional Peruvian ingredient. This is a seafood dish, but it doesn't feel like a coastal dish, like ceviche, for example. This is very much uh, like in the mountains of Peru. Thanks to Christian, Carl, and Orlando for making me and the food look so good each week. Okay, still more to come on our Restaurant Hunter High Fives. My picks for five restaurants you need to try from this past season when we come back. High fives, high fives, high fives.